Hello, and welcome to Community Connection. I'm Tracy Christensen. On a walk through Salt Lake City's Liberty Park, you may have noticed the stately home of pioneer businessman Isaac Chase. But what you may not know is this building houses one of Utah's most unique collections of artifacts. I'm joined by Jennifer Ortiz from the Chase Home Museum of Utah Folk Art, who's here to tell us about the exhibits and events planned for this summer. Welcome, Jennifer. Thank you. Yes, tell us more about this home and its history. Um, so this was a house that was built in the mid-1800s uh, when Isaac Chase came to Salt Lake City. It was part of um, his farmland, and so uh, we get to now occupy the home as a museum of Utah folk arts, and so it's pretty spectacular. It's a historic structure. Um, has been through many iterations, but now houses the Utah folk arts collection that uh, belongs to the state of Utah. And let's talk about what really is folk art? What's the difference between fine art and folk art for the lay people? So, <laughs> that's a great question. Um, so the, the biggest difference between fine art and folk art is folk art is traditionally a, a self-taught practice. It's usually passed down through your community, um, through a mother, a grandmother, a father, a grandfather. Uh, and it's it's just a self-taught practice. So perhaps uh, you learn tatting from your grandmother. That That's considered a folk art. So it's really like at the heart of history and the people and absolutely, their absolutely. It's definitely um, a people's art uh, is folk art. And so, what do you what do you tell people? Why why should we come and see that exhibit? So, you know, our exhibitions are really fantastic. Um, they're really community driven. We have four dedicated galleries. Um, we have a, a gallery dedicated to Native folk arts. Uh, a gallery to ethnic folk arts, occupational folk arts, and then a rotating exhibition gallery. And so uh, at any given moment, there's quite a bit to see uh, and, and a lot of um, community-driven exhibitions that are going on. Uh, we have an exhibition coming up June 4th uh, that will be a partnership with the Holiday Arts Council. It's called Healing Through Arts um, that will feature artwork uh, done by five different communities of refugees within the valley. And so that's um, a wonderful upcoming exhibition that we'll be showcasing. Such a great variety. Yes, absolutely. And you have some events coming up also. Yes. So we have a, a concert series, a regular concert series. It's called Mondays in the Park. Mm. It beginning uh, July 11th, um, starts at 7 p.m. These are a free concert series um, showcasing f uh, music and performances by traditional folk artists in all over Utah. So in the past, we've had, you know, Mexican folklorico group, um, a Burundi group, a uh, Polynesian dance group. And so these are wonderful concerts for you and your family to come and, and enjoy seven o'clock for free at the Chiso Museum of Utah Folk Arts. Fun. You can see yeah. a little visual arts, little music. Absolutely. Folk arts. It all goes together. And any other events during the summer months that you want to talk about? So I mentioned this uh, this loaned exhibition from a partnership with the Holiday Arts Council that will be opening up June 4th in conjunction with World Refugee Day, which is held every year in Liberty Park. Uh, it's a great event every year. Come out in the summertime. There will be food and events, performances, and of course the museum will be opened up to showcase this exhibition. We also do um, artist demonstrations and performances on Pioneer Day. This year uh, the events will be held on July 25th in Liberty Park. Uh, in addition to Mondays in the Park, our concert series, ongoing concert series. All summer. All and, summer. And they can come and see the museum all summer, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And tell us your website. It is heritage.utah.gov, and please look up Chase Home Museum to find us. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank, Thank you, you for sharing all of the exciting stuff. And Thank for being you. Here. Thank you so much. A visit to the Chase Home Museum of Utah Folk Art is a wonderful opportunity to learn about the state's unique and diverse cultures. If you'd like more information on this and other learning opportunities and services, please log on to our website at kbyu11.org. Thank you for being with us, and please join us next time on Community Connection.